guys welcome to today's video today we'll be talking about plan swift integration well for starters integration in the context of software and technology refers to the process of combining different system software applications or component to work together as a unified whole the goal of integration is to enable seamless data flow and communication between these different entities, allowing them to function together as if they were a single cohesive system. And um, integration can occur at various levels, such as um, data integration, which uh, simply means combining data from different sources into a unified view and uh, application integration, which um, refers to connecting different software applications to work together and um, business process integration, which also it means um, aligning and connecting different business processes for improved efficiency and um, system integration, which is bringing together different hardware and software system to function as a coordinated whole. Um, for, an, for an example, when um, integrating a company enterprise resource planning system with its supply chain management system, that is what is system integration. And also we have cloud integration. Cloud integration simply refers to um, connecting and coordinating applications, data, and processes across cloud services. Um, it could be like um, when you're integrating a customer relationship management system hosted on the cloud with an on-premise database. We have the middleware integration, which is um, using middleware software to facilitate communication and data exchange between different applications. For an example, when you employ a middleware to enable communication between a front-end web application and a back-end database. You know, integration is crucial for businesses and organizations seeking to um, optimize their operations, improve efficiency, and enhance the overall user's experience. So. Why should we then integrate Plan Swift with Excel? So, the first on the list is data accuracy and data consistency. Integrating Plan Swift with Excel ensures consistency in data across different platforms. This reduces the risk of errors associated with manual data entry and enhances the accuracy of your project data. And the next on the list is time saving and automated data transfer. By integrating Plan Swift with um, Excel, you can automate the transfer of data between the two platforms. This saves time on manual data entry reducing the chances of human errors and allowing your team to focus on more critical tasks. And also we have um, reporting and analysis. Excel is um, a powerful tool for data analysis and reporting. And so by integrating Plan Swift with Excel, you can leverage the advanced reporting capabilities of Excel to generate customized reports, charts, and graph based on your project data. And also we have improve collaboration. Excel is used in um, many industries and integrating it with Plan Swift facilitates seamless collaboration. Team members can work with familiar tools, enhancing communication, as well as coordination. And uh, we have enhanced project management and centralized data management. 
And um, integration allows you to centralize project data, making it easier to manage and track changes. This centralized approach enhances project management capabilities and helps in maintaining a single source of truth for project information. And also we have um, streamlined workflows and efficient processes. Integrating Plan Swift with Excel streamline your workflow. You can, for example, automatically update Excel spreadsheets with quantity and cost estimates generated in Plan Swift, ensuring that your project information is always up to date. And we have customization and tailored solution. You know, Excel provides a high degree of customization. By integrating with Plan Swift, you can design custom templates and reports that align with your specific project requirement, allowing for a more tailored and efficient solution. And um, we also have cost estimating and budgeting. Excel is well suited for budgeting and financial analysis. Integrating it with Plan Swift allows for dynamic updating of cost estimates, helping you to stay on top of project um, budget and um, you make more um, decisions. And we have scalability and adaptability to grow. You know, as your project and businesses grow, the integrated solution can scale to accommodate increased data and reporting needs. Excel um, scalability ensures that the integration remains effective as your organization expands. And last on the list is user-friendly interface. Many users are already familiar with Excel. Integrating Plan Swift with Excel capitalizes on this familiarity, reducing the learning curve for new tools and increasing user adoption. So, when considering integration of Plan Swift with Excel, it's important to evaluate the specific needs and workflow of your organization to ensure that the integration aligns with your business objective. So we will be looking at uh, how we can integrate um, Plan Swift with Microsoft Excel. So let's say you are trying to um, fix in your quantity you want to um, take off for site clearance and um, you want to integrate um, your plan swift with excel first thing you need to do you realize you don't have anything over here so the first thing you will do you go to your excel this is my excel a bit of quantity and then i go here and i click on uh, i click on options and i go to add in and I click on this and I click go and I mark Swift Excel add in and uh, we done so immediately you could see this which now says that uh, there is plan Swift over here so the thing you will do is just to connect and when you're done, it's now time for you to take off. So site clearance, we're just going to take off for, we'll just include area here, take area here. So we're going to put in a um, site clearance. 
Okay. So, all you just need to do is just to take off and that. Uh, so, immediately you're done with this, you will see that already we have 80.6 here. So, let's look at our Excel and you could see it here, 80.63. All right. So let me take off for another one. Let me see for, let me just um, take off. Um, all right. So let's assume I'm going to take off four walls. Let's assume I'm just going to take four walls. I click on this. Walls. Okay. I take off this highlight and then. Take off. Yeah. 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 Why is it called? Yeah. All right. So. If I take off just like this and it's give me 45.0, do I need to multiply by the height of this? So assuming this is, let's say I measured it and it's 45.0 um, with the height over there. Um, it's still going to, where we check here, you will see that we have 44.98, which is approximately 45. So try it at home and uh, give me a comment.